Hello there, and welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane, and guess what? It's Christmas! Yes! So, because it's Christmas, I thought we'd do something a little bit different, and hopefully a little bit interesting. I thought we could do a little contest. Something that I'm calling the 12 Days of Low Polymus. Good name, right? Very catchy. So, how does this work, I hear you ask? Well, it's based on the 12 days of Christmas, obviously, but with a twist. So let's go through what some of the rules for this are going to be, and hopefully you'll understand them, because I'm not sure that I fully do. But we'll see how it goes. Rule number one, you've got to make a 3D model based on the 12 days of Christmas. Rule number two is that it can't really be based on the 12 days of Christmas. This is the 12 days of low polymus. So you've got to do something slightly different. It's got to rhyme with it. So if you think about that meme from a few years ago, where it was, whoa, living on a prayer, whoa, oh, wizard at a fair, that one, you know it, uh, let's do that, so we're going to make it rhyme with whatever day it is, so instead of doing like four, no, let's say instead of doing two turtle doves, you might do two purple gloves, or instead of 12 lords are leaping, it could be um, 12 fords are beeping, yeah, Four calling birds could be four falling turds. Don't, <laughs> don't make that. <laughs> that would be so brown. Um, okay, so it's got to be that kind of thing. I will be showing you one on screen at some point, And that is for, instead of a partridge in a pear tree, it's a low poly Christmas tree. Yeah, you get it? You see what I did there? It's clever. The next rule is that you have to make the number of items that are in your day. So if it's two purple gloves, you'll make two gloves. If it's um, 12 Fords are beeping, then you need to make 12 Fords. So that's what you have to keep in mind. So if you're doing 12, it might be a little bit more complicated. Here's where the tricky rules come in. You can only use 200 triangles per item that you're making. So for the low poly Christmas tree, that stayed under 200, so I'm good, I can enter. But the thing is, if you're making something that's got... So if we're doing two purple gloves, then you've got a total of 400 triangles that you can use because you've got two items in there. If you're doing um, 12 fords are leaping, then you've got 2,400 triangles to work with. But you've got to make 12 individual things within that. Hopefully that makes sense. So it's 200 per item to keep it nice and low poly. You're also allowed to use only one material for your entire scene. So, you'll have seen in my example, or you will see, depending on where I put it, that I only used one texture, and that was, the next rule is that it can only be 32 pixels by 32 pixels uh, in resolution, and you can only have one material, so you're going to need to do a bit of atlasing if you want to have lots of different things going on with your models. But, that being said, you can have more than one texture as long as you've got only one material. So you can have your diffuse texture, you can have roughness, you can have um, normal if you need it, you can have metallic, emissive might come in handy with it being a Christmassy sort of theme. So keep that in mind. So one material and keep any textures used to below 32 by 32 pixels. The way that you need to submit if you want to enter this little contest is via Twitter. So, my Twitter handle is at MediaTutor, although I think the name comes up as Game Dev Academy. And you'll need to put at MediaTutor on your tweet where you're submitting to the contest. You'll also need to do the hashtag 12 days of low polymus, because that's what we're doing. And that's hopefully how I'm going to find all the tweets that you're going to because I'm sure there'll be millions to wade through. Millions. Ideally, when you are sending me a tweet, you'll be sharing something like a Sketchfab link. So I can have a proper look at your model. So then I'll be able to see what your poly count is. I can look around your model, see how you put your textures together. That would be ideal. But if you're unable to, for whatever reason, you can send me just a series of images. So that can be screenshots or renders or whatever. As long as I know what the poly count is and I can see what your texture maps are and you make it look pretty. The closing date is going to be the 20th of December. The way you'll know whether or not you've met the deadline is what date it says on your tweet. So if the tweet says that you tweeted on the 20th of December or before, you're good. If it says the 21st of December, you're too late, sorry. So that should be a pretty easy one to follow. And I think that's everything you need to know. Currently, there's no prize for this. It's just for fun. But should that change, if any sponsors reach out between now and the deadline, 
then I will add a price to it. I'll put it on the rules. There will be a link to the rules in the description if you want to read them for yourself. Uh, and I'll put whether or not there's a prize in there. But I don't think there will be. It's only if, you know, some sponsor with Deep Pockets wants to get involved. By the sponsors, if you want to get involved, just, you know, drop me an email. But yeah, just for fun. But there is the potential to make me look like a twat. So, if I manage to get enough entries so that there's something for all 12 days of low polymus, I will sing it. From 12 down to 1. I will start with the 12th day of low polymus and I will work my way down and make myself look like a right twonk as I'm doing it. So that's got to be worth it if nothing else. <laughs> Ideally, I think if you just miss one day out, like the, the eighth day, then I think I'm fine not to sing it. So, <laughs> I think I've got a way out. Anyway, that's the video today. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's do a contest. My, my entry is ready to go. It's a low poly Christmas tree. It's not that imaginative. But it does fit the brief. So, so far, I'm winning. <laughs> well done, Shane. I hope that you guys will get involved as well. I look forward to seeing your entries uh, in the coming days and weeks. Anyway, that's enough waffling. I look forward to seeing you in a video where I may or may not have to sing. Oh, see you later.